Well, today we're taking a look at how technology is used in the classroom. Four years ago, Bellevue Public Schools wanted to bring in a new gadget. The district says it's changing how instructors teach and how students learn. Here's Shantae Passmore. Okay, go ahead and open up to guided practice, please. Say goodbye to the old ways of stagnant learning. So now we're going to look at number two. And hello to the new way. Super. That's the thinking behind the iPad Academy at Bellevue Public Schools. You know, it's not really about the apps or the device. It's really about how we utilize it. When we visited Mrs. Ella's second grade class, it was math time. Oh, right here, what's this number? Some students sat with their teacher, the others in their own way. Here are the directions for lesson 4-6. Also sat down with Mrs. Ellis after their group lesson. And then they move into the guided practice piece where now they have their worksheet, but what they also have is a teacher created video. At a desk, on a beanbag, or laying down, these second graders are fully engaged in their lesson. If you're an auditory learner, you're covered. Prefer something visual? Well, look at your screen. Need to physically do something to remember your assignment? There's a worksheet in front of you. We don't want to just give a device and all they do is take, take notes and they uh, do the same thing they would on a piece of paper, but we do it electronically. Okay, we want to redefine what we do inside the classroom. But is it making a difference in student performance? Or is it simply a toy? Well, with one tap, Miss Ellis can find out. 78% got it correct and just a couple got it wrong. Good job, guys. You did wonderful today. The teacher's able to get some data in real time with those students and use that data to actually teach adaptively and change instruction, that same instructional block. Afterwards, students reflect on the assignment and they share what they've learned with other students. The kids are really becoming self-directed learners. They're able to help one another. They're able to learn from each other. They get inspiration from each other. Right now, the district says an eighth of its teachers are certified for the iPad Academy, but the goal is to have it in every class. As for cost, a lot of it will come from the newly voter-approved bond passed in Bellevue. In the studio, Shante Passmore, KMTV Action 3 News.